Good morning, John Glenn. Today is Wednesday, September 14th, 2022. September is National Suicide Prevention Month, and as members of SAD, we would like to let you know that suicidal thoughts are common among teens and young adults. In fact, about 11% of young adults report that they've had serious thoughts about suicide, and about 1-2% to 2 report a suicide attempt during the prior year. These numbers are higher among high school students. Nearly 20% report serious thoughts about suicide, and 9% report a suicide attempt. Among young adults 15 to 24 years old in the United States, the rate by death in, tw in 2019 was about 14 per 100,000 people, slightly higher than one suicide for every 10,000 people in this age group. These numbers are frightening, but there is also hope. If we can identify and support young people who are experiencing mental health symptoms, including thinking about suicide, we have an opportunity to help prevent tragedy. There is a large gap between the number of young people thinking about suicide and the number of people who die by suicide. In other words, there are 1,000 young people currently struggling with the idea of ending their life for each young person lost to suicide. Most importantly, that means that there are 1,000 opportunities to provide understanding and support to those experiencing difficulties. Reaching out and letting someone know how you are feeling is the first step to getting the guidance, support, and treatment you need to feel better. Help is available 24-7 by calling slash texting 988. Now here's the weather with Bo. Good morning, Falcons. Today is going to be 79. Cloudy. Real feel is going to be 78. Wind speed is south-southwest with 7 miles an hour. For the rest of the week, it is going to be Thursday. is going to be 80 as a high. Partly cloudy with a low of 59. Friday is going to be 84. Sunny with a low of 62. And the weekend, first day of the weekend is going to be 84. Partly cloudy with a low of 64. Now to main desk. A special shout out to our teachers and staff members celebrating birthdays this week. Happy birthday to Miss Thomas, Miss Cliston, Miss Parrish, Mrs. Clark, and in the admin building, Mr. Mylander. If you're interested in attending Ball State University in Muncie, a representative will be in the cafeteria today with students during all three lunches. Stop by if you want to find out more information free of charge about all that Ball State offers. If you're a person who doesn't like long lines, you can avoid one for following. Stop by the main office to purchase a ride bracelet. This allows you to spend your time enjoying following and not waiting. Last year, bracelets sold out early. For Falcons who missed our annual picture day or you'd like to have another picture taken, the retakes will be held next Friday. Stay tuned for more details. Due to the homecoming pep rally on Friday, our Mexican Independence Party will take place in the cafeteria tomorrow during homeroom. Come celebrate with Senora Cliston. The Walkerton American Legion Post is sponsoring an all-you-can-eat spaghetti dinner the day of our homecoming game. It will be held at the American Legion Post from 4 to 7 for the price of only $10, which includes garlic bread. It is all you can eat. It would, be, it would be a great way to start off the evening before the big game, and you'd be helping a local organization that does so much for our community and gives back so much to local and school groups. And now, here's sports with Nathan. Girls soccer beat Plymouth 2-0 to in a tough game that was played in the pouring rain. Goals were scored by Hannah Thomas and Logan Ritchie. Defense played tough, and Ariana Stanley had several saves. Glen Girls Soccer beat Bremen in overtime penalty kicks. Logan Ritchie, Michaela Herford, and Sammy Walker all scored PKs, and Ariana had two saves for the win. A narrow loss to Jimtown has dropped John Glenn from number 15 slot to being unranked this week by the Associated Press. Mishawaka is up to number two in Class 5A, and Valpo is fifth. In 4A, Northwood and New Prairie check in this week at fifth and sixth. In 3A, which includes John Glenn, West Lafayette is number one, nearby Hanover Central is number 10, and in 2A, LaVille is up to number four and has one first place vote this week. North Judson is number three in 1A and Triton is number 10. Ladies, support your class and sign up for the Powder Puff game. The game is after the bonfire tonight. Your class is depending upon you. There is a sign-up sheet in the cafeteria. Now here's a lunch with Bo. For lunch today, we're going to be having pepperoni calzone, Fajita wrap, chef salad, PB and J, golden corn, variety of fresh fruit, and a fruit slushy. That's all we have for you today, Falcons. Have an amazing day.